this video, we're going to build a query in Google Sheets that allows you to summarize date fields by just month and year. So you can see here, I have a data set of loan detail information, and column F contains the disbursement date. So we want to build a query that just summarizes this data by month and year. So I'm going to add a new tab where our query will live going to begin our query statement. The first input is the data we want to query off of, which is the loan detail back on the previous tab. So I'm going to begin in cell A1, hit Control shift right arrow, and then Control shift down arrow. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that data set down. Our next input is our query select statement. So that begins with the keyword select. And really all I want to do here is just get column F that contains the disbursement date and then sum column E for the original loan amount. So Google Sheets has some built-in date functions. There's one for the month and one for the year. So we just reference our column letter or column number within that month function and we need to add one to the month function because this function displays the months beginning at zero and going to 11. So January actually has a value of zero. So that is why we need to add one to that to display the proper month. So we also want to display the year as a column in our output. So again, I'm just going to enclose column F within the year function and we want to sum our original loan amount and since we summed column E we need to group by these other two columns that we're going to output so I have a group by statement We're done with our second input, so I close that out with a double quote. And then our final input is the number of row headers we have in our data set, which is one. So I'll hit enter, and that displays our data grouped by month, and then a column for year, and then the sum of our original loan amount. Now, if we wanted to change some of these headers so that they display something a little more simple and descriptive what we can do is insert a label statement and i'm just going to copy this month so you say label and then reference your column you want to label and then in single quotes give it a label name we'll call this month we can add a comma and do the same thing for the year column all that year and you know what I'd also like to do is format this loan balance so that it's in like an accounting format here we'll say format the sum of column E and this also is in single quotes and I'm going to use like an accounting style format here so now we have everything with some better headers there and our accounting format. If we wanted to filter this down, we could add a WHERE clause after our last column. So I can add a WHERE the month plus one equals May. So we could just enter a value of five there and since that's a number it does not to be, need to be enclosed in single quotes. So you can see it outputs our data. So stay tuned for a, another video that's coming where I'll show you how you can build a query that combines these two columns together and displays a month and year in one single column. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.